Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do Commodore Color Graphics the old school way. Uh, we're going to be making a color sprite. Uh, we're going to be designing it on graph paper, doing the math, and then putting it into a basic program. The character that we're going to be designing today is actually from a game that I'm working on, and I just kind of wanted to show a little bit about how I made it. Um, I was having some difficulty when I was um, trying to research this. It's been a long time since I've used Commodore. And uh, I was a little foggy. I couldn't find a whole lot of information about color sprites on the internet, so I hope that this information is useful and maybe helps someone. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and go over the things that we're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and start with colored pencils, calculator, you're going to need an eraser, ruler, and a pen. <clears throat> what I've done is I've gone ahead and drawn my grid here. Now the Commodore sprites are 24 by 21 pixels. So I've drawn a 24 by 21 box, and then I've <clears throat> set the uh, set the bits up here at the top as 128, and, uh, halving all the way down to 1 uh, for our highest to lowest bit, and then I've divided it into 8-bit segments. Um, with Commodore sprites, uh, in high-res mode, you have three colors. Well, technically you have four because you have the background color, but... <clears throat> Two of the colors are going to be shared amongst the other sprites. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and identified the colors that I'm going to be using. Uh, my first shared color is going to be red. My second shared color is going to be white. And in this example, I'm going to demonstrate that by boxing in the white squares <clears throat> with a black pencil so I can tell them apart. And then my independent sprite color is going to be blue. With the Commodore in color sprite mode, uh, your pixels are going to be double wide. So every, two pic so every two squares is going to be one pixel across. So we'll go ahead and start drawing the picture here, and I'll go into a little bit more detail about how we're going to calculate it up. we're done drawing the picture what we're going to work on is converting it over to a binary image so that way we can convert it into bits that we can input into the computer the way this will work if there's no information it's going to be a zero now you could write zeros but we already know it's nothing so for how I do it I don't put anything there then we have our color bits down here you see I've gone ahead and identified them uh, one one is our shared color 0, 1 is our second shared color, and 1, 0 is our sprite color. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put these numbers overlaying in the cells, and you'll see why they're two, they're two pixels wide going in colors. So we'll go ahead and fill these in. So the first pixel on the blue is going to get a 1, the second is going to get a 0. So all of our blues are going to be a 1 and then a 0 pixel. pixels are going to be a 1 1 so the first pixel will be a 1 the second pixel will be a 1 we can go ahead and fill these in okay 
Now we're going to do our white. Our white is our second shared color, and its bit order is 0, 1. So now we can go ahead and start doing the calculations on these. Over here on this row, we have no data in this in this 8-bit row. So over here on our data lines, we can go ahead and put zeros in here because there be there's not going to be any values. Okay. So this is where the calculator will come in. You can see up here, I've labeled them from 128 down to 1. What you're going to do is we're going to add up each value in here. So for this first bit on this top row, we have just one bit and two. So it's going to be a two here. On our second row here, we have 128. We have a 16. We have a four. Gives us 148. We'll go ahead and do that again on the second row. I like to use a ruler to make it a little easier to keep track. So on the second row, we have an 8. And we have a 2. So it's going to be a 10. And over here, on our second 8-bit set, we have a 16. We have a 4. And we have a 1. So I don't need a calculator for that. I know that's going to be 21. Okay. Now that we've got all of our numbers calculated, we'll go ahead and go over to the Commodore and uh, punch in a sample program, and I'll show you how all this works. Okay, so here we've got a sample program typed into the computer. I'll go over this briefly so that I can uh, explain what we've done here. Uh, I've got the program broken into two parts. I've got our part that puts the sprite in here, and then I've got our part that controls the sprite here. So you can see here on line 10, I have us go down to line 100. On line 100, this statement here will just load the data statements you see below into memory. We're going to use the 13th block of memory, which on a Commodore 64, a block is a 64K section. So 13 times 64 is 832. <clears throat> Here's our data statements. This is what we calculated on paper. And you can see with that we just put these in as data statements. Pretty simple, it's the same way as doing single color sprites. It fills this information into the mem appropriate memory addresses and then it returns back up to our, pro our part of the program that manipulates the sprite. So here we just clear the screen and we're going to go ahead and type some text as a sprite example. Here we're going to set a variable for V uh, as the start of the VIC chip memory. <clears throat> now here we're going to go ahead and enable sprite 2. We're going to do this with uh, V plus 21, uh, comma 4, that enables Sprite 2. Now we need to go ahead and turn on multicolor mode for the sprites. To do that, we're going to use this memory address. And this memory address is important. I actually couldn't find this in the Commodore book. Um, I did find it in the programmer's reference, but this piece of information was very hard for me to find. Uh, this 53276 and we set it with a value of 255 now this will turn all the sprites on in color mode if you need different sprites on in color mode and some in single color mode you will need to set this value to the appropriate number and we're going to go ahead and read our information for sprite 2 from the 13th memory block <clears throat> here we're just going to set the x and y positions of sprite 2 to 100 down over and 100 down here we're going to set the colors for the sprite. So I've set the sprite main color to be 6, which is blue. I set the first shared color to be 1, which is white. And then I set the second shared color to be 2, which is red. 
I set the background color of the screen to be black so that it shows up better and then we will end the program. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got. And there we can see the character that we drew on paper on the screen uh, in the location that we set it at. So it's really not that hard. It's just a matter of setting your color bits correctly and then enabling the color mode on the sprite.